Hi, I'm going to just show you very quickly um, drawing something in ZenBrush as a sketch and then what you can do with that. And what we're going to do today is we're going to take that and put it into Procreate and I'll show you in Procreate how you can um, then use that to work as a final piece of art. ZenBrush is just sketching with black and white and some grey shading. But you can save it into your photos on the iPad and then from there take it and import it into Procreate. So. We'll open ZenBrush and we're going to do a, uh, all right, let's see, a very simple drawing in ZenBrush. We just then click the function and save as photo. It's a little box in the corner down here um, and uh, that gives you the function. That's saved us in the photos now. So we can come out of ZenBrush and then if we go into Procreate, Click on Procreate, thank you. And now in Procreate we want to click the plus to add a new file, we'll do Retina. This is open a new file, there we are in Procreate. Now at the top on the uh, far side here, there is the uh, layers function and you can click the plus button to add a new layer. Now we have a new layer and then on the other side, you can't see them on the screen, they're so small, but there's what looks like a spanner and if you click the spanner, you have actions, a number of options at the bottom here to select different ones, but the first one allows the actions, and it says here, uh, insert an image from, and you click photos, and then as you can see, it opens up your photo library on the iPad, so camera roll, that's the one we just drew in ZenBrush, there it is. Now, what we need to do, um, we can move it around, because when it's imported, it's imported and it's selected. And when the things are selected in Procreate, there's a little arrow which it turns blue to let you know that the image is selected on that particular layer. Remember that, that it's just that one layer you're working on, that's the selection that's working in that layer. So you can actually, with two fingers, you can resize and turn, do kind of a lot of things with that selection if you want to. But if you want to deselect it, press the blue arrow once and that deselects the picture. Now we need to go back to the layers, and on this particular layer we have selected, we click on the far side, and it gives us some actions here. We want to multiply that layer. That's gonna allow the color below to come through. So we then actually select the layer below, make that active, go and paint, and as you can see, the color is on, and it see through the top layer, which is our sketch from ZenBrush, and you can merrily paint away and do what you want. Other things in uh, Procreate which are quite cool, on the selection here of different tools from uh, ink and pencils and brush, there are abstract things here, and you can paint, if you select one, and you can paint with various other things as well. So, that's Procreate very quickly, very simply, um, but that's taking the ZenBrush sketch and then sticking it into or importing it to Procreate. So, if like me, you really enjoy sketching in ZenBrush, and it is a very great app to sketch with, um, you can do more with that by taking the ZenBrush sketch, put it into your photo library on your iPad, and then from there you can import it to Procreate, and then you can colour and do so much more with it. So, I hope you find that useful, and uh, have fun and enjoy the apps.